Broadcasting from the hub of Aroostook, you're watching WAGM This Morning with news anchor Sean Cunningham and morning meteorologist Robert Grimm. Live and online at WAGMTV.com. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, August 11th. I'm Tom Dufton, filling in for Sean Cunningham, who has the day off. Glad to be here with you this morning. There are seven new cases of COVID-19 in Maine, according to the CDC. That story in a minute. But first, let's check in with our morning meteorologist, Robert Grimm, for a look at the weather. Good morning, Robert. Hey, Tom. Good morning. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. So we're starting off the day quiet, but we're going to be seeing some changes as we carry throughout the remainder of the day into the overnight hours tonight. Like I've been mentioning there, we do have the approach of this cold frontal boundary caused a number of problems throughout the upper Midwest yesterday with that derecho that rolled through. So we could see, again, localized in our area, some stronger storms firing up as we look to the later afternoon into the evening and the overnight hours tonight. And with that, we do have that warmer air mass in place. We're already this morning pushing 70s in a number of spots, seeing that 67 in Halton down towards Millinocket, even seeing some of those mid to upper 60s, 69 already down towards Portland this morning. Humid air masses in place. We are expecting extremely muggy conditions today. It's going to make that heat index feel like we're actually in the mid 90s in some spots. So if you have plans to stand expended or it's been an extended period of time outside make sure to take extra breaks make sure to carry that water with you dehydration a major concern so we'll coming up in full weather we'll time out those showers and storms that we are anticipating later on this evening go ahead and send it back to you tom seven new cases were reported yesterday by the main cdc of covid 19. that brings the total now to 4049 total covid 19 cases in the state of maine of those, 387 are currently active. The total number of Mainers with COVID-19 who have died remains at 125. A total of 3,537 Mainers have recovered from the virus, which is an increase of 25 over the past 24 hours. In Aroostook County, two cases remain active. The county has had a total of 33 cases. 30 of those have recovered, and one person with COVID-19 has passed away. The Prescott City Council has given approval to the opening downtown of another medical marijuana facility. City Manager Martin Puckett says this is the third business of this kind to open this year in the community. He says the business met all the criteria established by the city, planning board, and the state. The state hasn't approved anything for recreational marijuana use 